Good afternoon, boys and girls. Today's story is called The Mitten, adapted and illustrated by Jan Brett. On the cover page, what do you see? There's a mouse, a bear, an owl, a mole, a rabbit, a badger, a fox, a hedgehog, and a mitten. I wonder what all of these animals have to do with the mitten. Let's find out. Once there was a boy named Nicky who wanted his new mittens made from wool as white as snow. What do you see him doing there? He's jumping in the snow, but he doesn't have mittens to keep his hands warm. At first, his grandmother, Baba, did not want to knit white mittens. If you drop one in the snow, she warned, you'll never find it. But Nikki wanted snow white mittens, and finally, Baba made them. What do you see in this picture? She's making something. There's some white yarn there and different colored yarn there. And she's using two needles to make or snow so the mittens after she finished she said when you come home I will look to see if you are safe and sound but then I will look to see if you have your snow white mittens so off Nikki went and it wasn't long until one of his new mittens dropped in the snow and was left behind what do you see him doing there? He's climbing a tree and he dropped his mitten. A mole, tired from tunneling along, discovered the mitten and borrowed inside. It was cozy and warm and just the right size, so he decided to stay. Here you can see his tunnels and his tracks going into the mitten. What do you see here? That's a rabbit. A snowshoe rabbit came hopping by. He stopped for a moment to admire his winter coat. It was then that he saw the mitten, and he wiggled in, feet first. The mole didn't think there was room for the both of them, but when he saw the rabbit's big kickers, he moved over. Were they able to make room? And in this picture, what do you see there? That's a hedgehog. Next, the hedgehog came snuffling along, having spent the day looking under wet leaves for things to eat. He decided to move into the mitten and warm himself. The mole and the rabbit were bumped and jostled, but not being ones to argue with someone covered in prickles, they made room. They're all snuggly in there. What do you see right there? As soon as the hedgehog disappeared into the mitten, a big owl, attracted by the commotion, swooped down. When he decided to move in also, the mole, the rabbit, and the hedgehog grumbled. But when they saw the owl's glinting tongues, he, they quickly let him in. Ooh, what's in that picture there? That is a badger. Up through the snow disappeared, or appeared a badger. The eyed, he eyed the mitten and began to climb in. The mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, and the owl were not so pleased. There was no more room left. But when they saw his diggers, they gave him the thumb. What do you see right there? Mm, a fox. A 
It started snowing, but the animals were snug in the mitten. A raft of warmth stream rose in the air, and a fox trotting by stopped to investigate. Just the sight of the cozy mitten made him feel drowsy. The fox poked his muzzle in. When the mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, the owl, and the badger saw his shiny teeth, they gave the fox lots of room. Do you think there's enough room in that mitten for all of them? It's getting very snug. Who do you see there? A big brown bear. A great bear lumbered by. He spied the mitten all plumped up. Not being one to be left out in the cold, he began to nose his way in. The animals were packed in as tightly as could be. But what animal would argue with a bear? The mitten swelled and stretched. It was pulled and budged too many times its size. But Bubba's good knitting held fast. They let him in. Now it's going to be super tight. Is there going to be room for anybody else? What do you see there? It's a little mouse. Oh, they're all in that mitten, cozy warm. Along came a meadow mouse, no bigger than an acorn. She wiggled into the one space left and made herself comfortable on top of the great bear's nose. The bear, tickled by the mouse's whiskers, gave an enormous sneeze. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, choo! The force of the sneeze shot the mitten up into the sky and scattered the animals in all directions. They all came out now. Now the mitten's flying. On his way home, Nicky saw a white shape in the distance. It was the lost mitten silhouetted against the blue sky. As he ran to catch the snow white mitten, he saw Bubba's face in the window. First she looked to see if he was safe and sound and then she saw that he still had his new mittens. What do you see here? One is much bigger than the other, isn't it? Do you think that the animals that all fit into that mitten stretched it out? I think so. What a silly story. Do you guys think that animals really could fit into a mitten? Hmm. Probably not. And did Nicky have his mitten the whole time? No, but he was able to get it back before he returned home. I hope you guys liked this story. We'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.